Hi everyone, this is Jun Xian. Today we will be looking at the way Lewis method critiques the baby food. Baby food diet is the invention of a celebrated trainer Tracy Anderson and a popular one 2010. According to rumors, actress Jennifer Aniston, with the help of her celebrated trainer, lost 7 pounds by eating a baby food diet during the film Let's Go With It. On average, she lost one pound per day, which is very tempting for people who want to lose weight. However, you may yet have doubt about this. Can this really help you lose weight? And is it actually healthy for Anna to take a baby food diet? So today, let's look at the baby food diet method closely. First of all, let's look at what baby food diet method is and how it works. Initially, baby food method was eating baby food instead of regular meals, except for dinners. However, there are less restrictive versions of the method, such as only eat baby food once a day, and the rest of the meals stays as usual. Here's an example of the original diet plan. The idea behind the method is to reduce the daily calorie intake per day due to the small size of a baby food. Also, the bland taste of a typical baby food will prevent you from overeating. In terms of restrictions, compared to other methods of losing weight, the baby food diet method is less restrictive. All your daily routine stays still, like it does not have any limitations of what you cannot eat, when you should eat, or what types of baby food you should eat. It does not require you to stop doing what you normal physical activities, anything like that. Here are some advantages and disadvantages of the methods. So the baby food is high in fruits and veggies. Most of baby food are made from pure fruits and veggies. And it's low in sodium and fat. Baby foods are low in sodium and fat compared to what adults usually eat. Conversely, it cannot miss your body requirement. The so baby food diet is lack of the calories, nutrients, protein, and fiber, which cannot meet adults' requirement. You might even feel hungry quicker than usual since there's no adequate calorie and a large calorie variation between brands. The different board of the different brands of a baby food contain different numbers of calorie, varies from about twenty to two hundred twenty calories which might lead to huge differences in result of loot ways. High in price, the baby food are already more expensive. Now, let's move on to scientific explanation. Under normal circumstances, from the first part of the food, each morsel of nutrition within starts to be broken down for use by the body. The process of a metabolism will start, the series of chemical reactions that transforms food into components that can be used for the body's basic process. All three nutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fats are abundant. Carbohydrates and fat will be mainly used as energy, while protein is a raw material for making harmonies, muscles, and other essential biological equipment. Each part of the body needs energy to operate. The energy from the food we eat, we consume a lot of nutrients in the diet. It helps to provide the energy needed by the body to keep it running. Our body digests the food by mixing with the liquid in the stomach. When the stomach digests food, the carbohydrates in the food break down glucose. The stomach and the small intestines absorb glucose and then release it into blood. Once in the blood, glucose can be immediately used for energy or stored for later use in the in our body. Use glucose for energy and to keep it balanced with the right amount of insulin. Even during sleep, our body can maintain the energy needed for life, work, play and functions. This energy is used to drive the complex chemical, mechanical and electronic system of the body. The rate of it released from micronutrients by chemical processes occurring in the body is known as a metabolic rate. Containers of a baby food are relatively low calorie, but research has shown that restricting too many calories can slow down your metabolism. 
This means that as soon as you go back to your normal meal, you are likely to put the weight back on. As well as baby food does not require that much digestion since most of it is pure form. Your gut microbiota might change if you are on this diet for a long period, and once you go back to your normal diet, you might not be able to digest certain food. Also, if you are taking in too little food, you are also likely to feel more fatigued and have a nutrient deficiency. The NCBR states that the weight that's lost to non calorie restrictive diet is really regained when you return to your euro eating habits. As well as a study report highlights that reducing calorie intake may not help you lose weight. And the baby food diet is typically lower your intake of fiber and sodium. The weight you lose may be from water retention and not necessarily from fat. You may be able to get most of your essential nutrients from the baby food diet. It is totally fine if you adopt this method for 3 days or a very short period, just to lose a few pounds very quickly. However, long period of taking baby food diet could lead you to nutrient deficiencies. Due to the baby food is not able to meet adult's daily calorie requirement, which is not recommended. And here are some recommendations for long term weight loss. And here's my student ID card. Thank you.